In this video, we'll show you how to run the thread through the complete thread path from the cone all the way up through the thread th tree and down through the sewing head and down to the needle on your HCS3 Voyager 12 needle single head embroidery machine. Start by placing your cone directly on the spindle where you want it. Unwind enough thread for your purpose. Cut a clean end and try not to handle the last couple of inches to keep the end clean as you're threading it through the thread path. From the cone, find the thread guide loop directly above the cone. Each one of these cones has a loop directly above it, and that's the first loop that it passes through. So going from the back to the front, and then forward on to the rest of the thread tree. In this example, we're threading the needle one position, which is the rightmost needle. So we'll follow the path from the top of the thread tree down through the face of the head. First, we'll run it through this guide, which is known as the upper rectifier. The way this is run through is to grab both ends of the thread as you would a piece of dental floss, run it underneath this pressure plate, spring-loaded pressure plate, and then pass through these side plates and back towards the pressure plate so that this plate is now squeezing down effectively on the thread. And we'll continue down to the face of the sewing head. First in the sewing head, the thread must pass first through the upper tensioner, then the thread brake sensor wheel, then the lower tensioner. So starting from the upper tensioner, pass the thread through the eyelet at the upper right corner of the upper tensioner. And you can follow the embossed guides on, that are stamped onto the, uh, onto the faceplate so that you can see it now passes to the right but not completely around. So the easiest way to do this is, as you can see, that there is a peg that aligns with a notch in the tensioning disc. And if you turn the tension disc so they don't align, that lets the peg uh, hold that up temporarily. That gives you a little bit of space so that you can now easily pass the thread underneath that tension disc and again following the direction to the left of the spindle. Now we can rotate that plate so that the notch now once again aligns with the peg so that the pressure disc presses firmly on the thread which helps create a little drag and it helps you as you thread further along the path. Threading the sensor wheel will go to the right of this peg and then into the groove of the sensor wheel. Hold it low and run it along and make sure that as you're pulling that the wheel turns. If it's not turning at all as you're dragging it through that, then increase the tension on the upper tensioner. Next, we'll go to the lower tensioner and we're gonna run it one full turn, so we'll run it into the groove. It has to be in the metal groove and bring it around clockwise until it's gone all the way around the groove. Once you have the thread riding all the way around the wheel at the base of the lower tensioner, catch it into this hook, and now we're ready to go down through the take-up lever. Now to run the thread from the lower tensioner to the take-up lever, first uh, catch it in this hook up here and uh, underneath this spring-loaded plate on the appropriate side of the plate. Each plate can accommodate two different, uh, two adjacent uh, threads. So needle one in this case passes on the right side under this plate and then down through the slot to the right of the take up lever and then in the lower part of the slot you have a, a, a plastic fairing here that causes it, allows it to make a J turn here so we're going to do a uh, pass it to the right and then up so going up right to left and then we're going to pass it through the eyelet of the take up lever once again always going right to left as needed, cut a fresh end if it's getting too long or frayed. It makes everything easier as you continue to thread the machine. Once the take-up lever is threaded, pass it down through that same slot. And coming down from the take-up lever, pass it down through the pink eyelet here, uh, which takes it below the lower head where it's ready to go into the needle. So once down through the eyelet, we're ready to thread the needle. The best tip for doing this is make sure you have plenty of light. Cut a fresh end as needed so that you know that it will enter the needle cleanly. Thread the needle from front to back. Holding enough 
free end so that when you push it out the other side that you can easily grab the end of the thread with your other hand. And once through, bring it straight up from the eye of the needle and into this thread holding spring and cut the excess down to about a quarter inch. That should leave you a nice short enough tail so that this needle position is ready to go.